these are the eyepieces I'm using from 6 mm to down to 4 mm they're from very wide angle ethos clones to pentax uh, panoptic or dealer's style to slv and nagler and aspheric and ma and orthoscopic and huygens and uh, plusos and uh, you will see the result of this uh, in the following uh, shots I'm looking at a, a hanging basket this is the view that I'm uh, videoing and I'm looking at uh, one of the uh, marigolds in this uh, hanging basket so let's see how it looks like to some of the eyepieces that we have this is the Huygen 6 mm eyepiece it's a one and a quarter inch eyepiece so I have to use the adapter and Let's just see how it is to view through this. As you can see, this is a view through the Huygens 6 mm. At the center is quite sharp, at the margins you see a little bit blue tinge and the chromatic aberration. Beyond that, the image is good. And that is my wife passing there. Okay, this is a Celestron 6mm puzzle like this. Let's just look through this. I have to put the eye guard down. Okay, I uh, put the eye guard down and you can see the image's quality is good, the field of view looks wider than the Huygens. At the margin it gets a little bit fuzzy, but it can be due to the camera, the angle of the camera I'm holding it. And you can see more of the hanging basket flowers. This is the orthoscopic 6 mm eyepiece, uh, one and a, um, sorry, 0 0.96 Japanese style eyepiece. So let's just see how it is doing it through here. This is the view through the 6 mm orthoscopic. The view is wider than the Huygens, the clarity at the center is better. It gets a little bit soft at the edges, but uh, uh, it compensates for the field of view. If you take the central part of it, it's as good as the Huygens, or even better. Field of view is narrower than the Plusol in this 6mm Japanese style eyepiece. This is a 6mm autoscopic eyepiece. Barrel size is one and a quarter inch, so it's bigger than the Japanese style I showed you, 6mm 0.96 inch one. So let's see how the view is through this one. Definitely field of view in the 6mm autoscopic is one and a quarter inch eyepiece. Uh, is bigger than the same version of the 0 0.96 inch one. The image quality is much better. If you see a little bit softness at the uh, center sometimes, it's not because of the camera or anything, it's because my adjustment is not that fine. But I feel that this is, so far, this is the best uh, image. Probably comparable to Plusle or better than the Plusle 6mm. And you can just for yourself if you want to use such an eyepiece for viewing the planets. I'll just show you the sun condition, a little bit cloudy now, so that may affect the next eyepiece that I'm showing you. This is the Vixen SLV 5mm eyepiece with a field of view of uh, 50 degrees. Let's look at the same uh, view through this eyepiece. As you can see the field of view is much wider. Uh, the image is as good as the autoscopic or plus 
slightly inferior to the plus, uh, orthoscopic, but as good as the plus, uh, plus but much wider field of view. Despite that the sun has now is behind the clouds, we have less light. I'm using the Teleview Nagler 5mm eyepiece. It's a kind of premium eyepiece. Kind of. And let's see how is the view through this. Uh, the sun condition is the same, we have some clouds. This is the view through the Teleview Nagler. As you can see, the field of view is very wide. Colors are as good as the SLV, but it's very nice uh, image. The only thing that when I use the Teleview Nagler, I feel the air. Um, the eye relief is very tight, but uh, when you use a Huygens, you know that this is not the case. This is a Pentax SMC XW 5mm eyepiece, 72 degrees, and Nagler was 82 degrees. Now let's go and see how is the image quality with this one. Now we are looking through the Pentax 5mm. Uh, XW eyepiece. The image quality you can see. The field of view is uh, um, 10 degrees less than the Nagler, but it's quite good. Uh, the lens is really bigger, probably four times the size of the Nagler lens. That makes eye placement a little bit critical if you are, I mean, in the camera case. But when you view with this, it's very comfortable actually, much more, I prefer this to the Nagler in a way. This is the Skywatch Myriad uh, MWA Mega Wide Angle, uh, 5mm 110 degrees eyepiece. So let's see how this is the view through this eyepiece. As you can see, the colors are really vivid. The field of view is very wide, easy to look at. The eyepiece is very heavy, so you need a good balance on the telescope. And you have to adjust your telescope for that. Other than that, I think this is a good eyepiece. If you want to use it on a Newtonian, a Dobsonian, something like that, that's really perfect. Now we are looking to a Celestron 4mm plus hole eyepiece. Let's see how is the field of uh, the view through this eyepiece. This is our field of view. And these are the details we can see. This is a 4mm eyepiece, so we have now came 1mm down compared to the last eyepiece we looked. Uh, the clarity and everything is as good as any of them. The eye relief is very tight. And as you can see, the size of the lens is not much. I will show you. That's how it looks. It's a one and a quarter inch eyepiece. This is a mid MA 4mm eyepiece, very old eyepiece, and uh, it's one and a quarter inch. So let's see how the view is through this. As you can see, the field of view is quite nice, wide center very sharp colors are vivid at the margin you can see a little bit false color but it compensates with a nice view through the center probably is one of the clearest views i've seen of this flower you can be the judge this is the svboni aspheric four millimeter 62 degrees eyepiece let's just see how is the view through here the lens is bigger than the other eyepieces that I've shown, uh, I mean the plus holes and orthoscopics. The telescope I was using is the Skywatcher ED-AT 
three and a half inch, uh, yeah, three inch uh, telescope, and it's a of a chromatic refractor. It is a gold version, and for the mount, I'm using a, a Scarbage Flex Group 130 millimeter Dobsonian mount. Which is quite fit for this, and this is a, a Losbandi um, dovetail bar, which is quite solid and suitable for this work.